everyone this is Dr. Abdul Rafi here again and today in this video we will discuss about control of setting time, control of setting expansion, properties of a set material, mechanical properties and the advantages. If you have not watched the previous two videos do watch them and get back here for the further and remaining coverage of the chapter. Gypsum products of dental cost by the book Applied Dental Material Sciences. Starting from the control of setting time, factors which affect the setting time can be controlled by manufacturers and can be controlled by the operator. Manufacturer can uh, control the setting time through three factors that are number one, nucleating agent, number two, accelerators and number three is retarders. So starting from the nucleating agents, nucleating agents uh, affect the setting time through by aging and number two through rapid crystallization from unconverted dihydrate. Unconverted dihydrate acts as a nuclear of crystallization as a result setting accelerates and setting time decreases. It means that your material is taking less time to be finally set. Now the accelerator. Uh, the most commonly used accelerator in gypsum products is potassium sulfate. It is frequently asked question in the BCQs. How it acts is it increases the solubility of hemihydrate crystals. Through increasing the solubility of hemihydrate crystals, the hemihydrate crystals dissolve readily in the solution as a result Material, uh, as a result uh, setting accelerates and setting time decreases now the retarders there are three type of retarders borax hydrocolloid gels and sodium citrate uh, they also are frequently asked in the examination that what type of uh, retarders are used in gypsum products uh, so basically the through the mechanism through which they act uh, or through which they retard the setting is still unknown. Now the operator. Op similarly, operator can uh, control the setting time through three factors. That is number one, temperature. Number two, water powder ratio. And number three is the mixing time. Uh, what temperature does is do is uh, it increases the dissolution of sparingly soluble salt uh, and meanwhile it decreases the crystallization so these both effects uh, cancel out each other so overall temperature has a very little effect on the setting time now the water powder ratio if uh, the operator increases the water powder ratio it uh, what uh, it uh, decreases the concentration of crystallization of nuclei uh, as a result setting time increases and when you in decrease the water powder ratio the concentration of crystallization increases uh, setting accelerates uh, due to the availability of uh, nuclei of crystallization and then the setting time decreases now the mixing time uh, if you increases the mixing time uh, that is you are taking much time to mix the solution what happens is uh, setting accelerates why setting accelerates as uh, you are mixing the solution uh, for so long it helps the dihydrate crystals to break and as a result we have more nuclei of crystallization more nuclei of crystallizations result in rapid setting and the setting time decreases it means that your material is taking less time to be finally set in comparison when you decrease the mixing time that is you are mixing the material rapidly it decreases the setting why because uh, there are no breaking of dihydrate crystals readily and there is no crowding of nuclei of crystallization so the setting delays and the setting time increases that is your material is taking a longer duration to be finally set one thing you should kept in mind is that the nuclear of crystallization nuclear of crystallization act as a center for growth of dihydrate crystals dihydrate crystals grow your materials get hardens and gets 
finally set now the control of setting expansion as i mentioned earlier accelerators and retarders uh, can affect the setting time and they can also affect the setting expansion these both uh, accelerators and retarders act as an anti expansion agent they reduces the setting expansion now how accelerator reduces the setting expansion i have two hypotheses that how accelerator works to reduce setting expansion it is not mentioned in the book it is only my way of teaching or my way of understanding the topic it is not mentioned in the book that's why i'm calling it the hypothesis now i have two hypotheses number one is accelerator decreases the setting time as we all know so as the setting time decreases there is not enough rise in temperature as we all know as the temperature rises our material expands so when temperature does not rise much so that our material does not expands enough it does not have the time to expand through its limit number 2 hypothesis is that accelerator decreases setting time how uh, that is uh, as i mentioned earlier they increases the solubility of hemihydrate so that the breaking of dihydrate crystal increases and nuclear of crystallization increases as we have the crowding of nuclei of crystallization in the material so there is no space for the expansion the two hypotheses number 1 not enough rise in temperatures not enough expansion number 2 is crowding of nuclei restricts or or uh, let the material uh, do not expands to its limit now the properties of the set material first of all we have to know that strength of the gypsum depends on the porosity and now we have two equations number 1 is water powder ratio is directly proportional to porosity and porosity is inversely proportional to strength if we add these two equations we get this that is water powder ratio directly proportional to porosity and porosity is directly and, and porosity is inversely proportional to the strength so what we understand from these equations is that as we increases the water powder ratio eventually the porosity increases and when porosity increases our strength of the material is decreases so if we kept the water powder ratio uh, low so we have low porosity and then we will have higher strength so water powder ratio and porosity both have the effect on strength eventually now after material after setting we allow material to stand for few hours why we stand the uh, materials for a few hours uh, for uh, increase in strength the material increases its strength through evaporating of water it precipitate dihydrate crystals and cement the crystals together as we stand the materials for few hours water evaporates dihydrate crystals precipitate and cement them together that's how our strength increases through and by time now the mechanical properties of the gypsum gypsum as a material ha- is very brittle it has low flexural strength and it has poor impact strength that is it can be fractured if it is dropped impregnation of acrylic resin modifies mechanical properties of gypsum if we add the acrylic resin and gypsum powder then uh, we allow it to set it will eventually have the higher mechanical properties uh, now the advantages uh, gypsum is uh, very easy to use as a material it is inexpensive and it has good dimensional stability that is uh, dimensional changes occurs before and after the set of material is very low 
and it has good dimensional accuracy as well it can record the fine details of your impression pretty accurately